Hello and welcome back to Duck Reads. Today we're going to be reading Christmas Celebration with Sake Izayoi. I meant to have this video out a little bit sooner than uh, after Christmas, but I've been really sick and haven't been able to record. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and this game is, is uh, written by Sigyad. They uh, made Sake Izayoi gives you advice and tabs. But anyway, let's go ahead and start it. So this is a festival. Wow. It's so beautiful. Look, look. <laughs> what a sight. She she has voice lines, what? I don't know how that shrine maiden came up with the idea for this festival. Apparently it's a yearly tradition in the outside world to hold these kinds of events every year. How exciting. <laughs> But it seems to have been such a great idea, don't you think? I wonder where she got it from. That's ah, just Raymu stealing stuff from outside. Also, there's Nin back there. <laughs> the rat. Everyone likes the rat. That being said, there's so many fun things to do here. Let's explore this festival to the fullest. <laughs> I wonder what shall we do first? Oh look, there's the Oni from the underground. Go see what she's offering. Is it Suika? <laughs> Don't be shy now. <laughs> oh, and be sure to bring me some of what she's selling too. If it's Suika, it's gonna be alcohol. Oh no, it's Yugi. Welcome, we got special Oni Saki straight from the underground for you to try. It'll knock you dead. Um, I don't think I want to drink that if I'm gonna die. Oh, you're quite the fella, aren't you? Are you with that Sakia lady? Yeah, and? Oh, who am I? <laughs> ah, of course. Where are my manners? I'm an Oni hailing from the underground, the former hell itself. The name's Yugi Hoshiguma, but you can call me Yugi. In terms of raw power, I'm one of, if not the strongest Oni around. As for me, I'm not one to run these sorts of shops or stands. I actually prefer going out there and drinking. But I figured it's not so bad for a change of pace. <laughs> you can bet your ass, though, that'll be making quite a scene at the after party, though. That does sound like something Yugi would do. I'm sure you're familiar with Rainbow and Marisa, the Ordinary Shrine Maiden and Magician of Paradise, or however their titles go. I actually fought against those two before. <laughs> they beat me fair and square in a Danmaku battle. Not that I was trying my hardest, though. That said, I never got to fight against Sakia, though. I wonder how Sakia holds up compared to those two. What do you think? Is Sakia stronger than them? Is Sakia stronger than me? <laughs> <laughs> no need to tell me, of course. Still, though, she seems like a nice enough lady, but be careful. I can tell just by looking at her that she's not the one you want to mess with. <laughs> so treat her right, or you end up staring at a thousand knives. <laughs> oh, but you're here for the sake, right? Hmm, I'll tell you what. I like you, so I'll let you have two cups for free. One for you and one for your Sakia. Isn't that what the Christmas spirit is all about? Yeah, but you're running a store. Shouldn't you be, like, selling this? Be careful, though. This stuff ain't your ordinary sake. We only have a bottomless alcohol tolerance compared to you humans, so this stuff is a lot different from what you may be used to. Just one sip drunk <laughs> off your ass. It'll knock you dead if you're not careful. Maybe literally, too. Although, it is rumored there are some humans who can drink as much as an Oni. <laughs> Have you had to meet one, though? Maybe you're one of them? Anyways, don't be shy now. Take these and bring them to your lady. Do her right tonight. If by any chance you end up in the underground, come see me. I'll make you feel at home or die trying. Assuming you don't die trying to get there in the first place. 
Take care now. Oh, you got the sake? Great, let's try it. Speaking of alcohol, did you know I can turn wine into grape juice? I did it once. <laughs> now that would just be a waste. You'll be the death of a Sony. That's right, my powers aren't limited to just throwing knives and manipulating time. <laughs> Although who's to say what's the true nature of my abilities? Are you familiar with trigonometry? No, I never took it in school. Let's take the interior angle of a triangle. If you add up all the interior angles of a triangle, it's always going to add up to 180 degrees. But can you imagine a triangle with all of its angles adding up to something way more than 180 degrees while still being a triangle? It'd just be a very curvy, wonky looking triangle. <laughs> of course not. It's incomprehensible. You could even say it would drive you mad to even see such a thing. Such is the nature of my abilities. If you can understand it, it's part of why I felt like an outcast early on. <laughs> but believe it or not, there are more complicated things in life, such as oxygen. I still need to be reminded what that is. Said it's a gas. But anyways, we're here to have fun, not for math lessons. <laughs> I suppose I've been talking too much about myself. What kind of talents can you do? You may have some unique quirks or talents about yourself that only a few people can do. For example, maybe you're really good at shuffling cards or throwing knives. Or perhaps you're really flexible, or can mimic other people's voices. <laughs> it can be beneficial to be proud of these and show it off to people who will really enjoy them. It can really help to make the moment that much more memorable. <laughs> yeah, for example, I can never spill a single drop from my sake dish. Even if you hold it upside down? Speaking of sake, you two should drink it now before it spoils. I don't think it'll spoil that quick, but who knows. Well, for these kinds of festivities, I'm all for drinking. <laughs> Bottoms up. Wait a sec, Sakia. Huh? I want to savor this moment. Do it one person at a time. <laughs> I want to see the human drink it first. Ah, that seems like fun. What do you say? <laughs> Alright, whenever you're ready. You just pass out immediately. <laughs> oh man, you should see your face right now. Wish I could savor this moment forever. Just uh, pull out a phone and take a video of it. Wow, I have to agree with the Oni. It must be like really sour or something. Mm -hmm. You definitely look very cute, that's for sure. Oh my, are you okay? This Oni Sake is hidden different. Oh wow, you don't look so good, even after having only a sip. This Onesake really is strong, huh? Whoa. Take him to Entei, Sakia. I think he's really gonna die at this rate. Don't worry, I got this. Punches you in the stomach and you vomit. Spell card sign, time dilation. <laughs> There, don't you feel better already? Whoa, the heck did you do? <laughs> Compared to before, he looks as strong as an Oni now. Well, just like how I can turn grape juice into wine, I can do the reverse as well. I thought you turned wine into grape juice. I reverse aged the sake in your body. <laughs> the sake in your body is now nothing more than white rice. That should go down much easier now. Don't worry, you're always safe with me around. Mm. It's my duty as the head maid to protect those I care about. <laughs> Besides, I can't have you dying on me yet. There's still more to this festival. I hear another member of the underground is helping out with a cafe around the corner. Let's check it out. Thanks again, Oni. Maybe we'll have a Don Maku battle one day. 
<laughs> Looking forward to that. Stay safe, you two. Here's your food. Oh, you two look so cute together. I'm so jealous. Oh my, did you hear that? That pointy-eared waitress called us cute. She has a Santa hat now. <laughs> I suppose we do look nice together. <laughs> she didn't sound a little bitter. I wonder who hurt her. It was me. I did it. Well, I'm sure she'll be okay. I'm glad we can finally sit back and relax. This cute little cafe feels so cozy. Why don't you try some of the cake? I like cake. Oh wait, before we go any further, I have some questions to ask you. Would you ever consider working as a butler? I don't like being a butler. I know I said that I'll always be here for you, and I understand that you have your own goals and aspirations. <laughs> but we could use a person with an actual brain at the mansion. Amelia likes to keep around the fairy maids. But between you and me, they're not all that useful. Well, they're fairies, they're not that smart. Actually, it's a bit of an open secret that they're kind of useless. She even took in hobgoblins at one point as well. At least they were more helpful, I suppose. I guess what I mean is that it would be nice to have another human working with me. Especially if that human is you. I can't lie, it would be a lot of work, but it would be so rewarding as well. <laughs> That's why I enjoy cleaning. You leave something in a better place than it was before. I guess in a way, I'd imagine we'd both be in a better place than before if you come to work with me. We have plenty of rooms there too. You'll have a free room and board while you're working at the mansion. Of course, there's plenty of space for you in my room if you want to move in there instead. <laughs> well, there's no pressure. I'm just letting you know. I'll respect whatever decision you may come across. Oh, the tea is getting cold. Let's dig in. I'm having a lot of fun, but there's still so much more left to do. Come on. Let's see. Oh, do you smell that? It smells absolutely delicious. I know we just ate at a cafe, but I could go for seconds. I don't eat too much, you'll get fat. <laughs> go ahead and get some food for us. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, it's Mistia. Oh, hello there, human. Is that snake on a stick? Or is that eel? I see you were drawn by the smell of my cuisine. That's like that's like the the rat in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not playing tricks on you. This grilled lamprey really does taste as good as it smells. Oh, so it is eel. Ooh, are you a Sakia? You know, I think I fought her once before. She was with her vampire boss, Romelia. <laughs> Boy, were they tough. My best spell cards were no match for them. Even with my ability to make them near blind, they effortlessly dodged my Don Maku and overpowered me. Huh? Why were they fighting me, you ask? Well, they were out to resolve an incident. Something about the moon or night being weird or something. And I just happened to be in the way. Even though I said I wasn't up to anything bad. We yokai are always the prime suspects when anything suspicious happens. <laughs> Although I can't say I blame them, my powers are pretty terrifying. Oh? Aw, oh, come on, don't look at me like that. I was just exaggerating. My powers aren't actually that scary. <laughs> I'm not that mean to humans. Not anymore, at least. You know, I'm more into playing the guitar these days. Besides, we yokai can't harm any humans. We're all coming together for this festival in the spirit of Christmas. 
We'd totally get exterminated by the Shrine Maiden. She can be really scary too, you know. That does sound like Ramo. Speaking of the Shrine Maiden, doesn't her red and white outfit make her perfect to be, I don't know, some kind of gift giver? <laughs> Alright, you're here for the Lamprey. Hmm. Well, you're kind of nice, so I'll let you have some for free. Why don't you come see my performance sometime? <laughs> Anyways, have fun now and enjoy the food. Thanks for fetching this for us. Speaking of this food... Do you know how the vendor of this grilled lamprey gets people to buy her food? They say she blinds people traveling across from her stand and makes it so the only light they can see is the one emitting from her stand. This makes the poor victims drawn to her stand and they are told buying the lamprey will cure their blindness. Once they buy the food and eat it, she lifts their blindness immediately. <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine how this attracts customers, even repeat ones. It's a rather cruel tactic, but I guess Yokai will do anything to thrive in Gensokyo. That said, I'm not sure she's still doing that nowadays. I hear she's into playing the guitar. <laughs> I hear her performances are very popular. Maybe we should go check it out sometime. Don't be afraid. I'll protect you if anything happens. <laughs> Though, I understand what you must be thinking. If we were enemies, how can we get along now? You might be pondering. And yes, it's a fair assessment. We have fought against people who started major incidents that have threatened our very livelihoods. Yet somehow, at the end of the day, we can all just call it a day and have a picnic party together? I don't fully understand it myself, but resolving incidents and battling is hard work. We all might as well relax and unwind after it's all over. Here in Gensokyo, we're a small and tight-knit community. We're all we've got. So it's important to put aside our differences as soon as they're no longer a threat. <laughs> and besides, if they ever try to start something again, we can always kick their ass. I'm a part-time incident resolver myself, you know. We're just that confident in our abilities, I suppose. Furthermore, you never know if they will help us too. It can't hurt to put aside differences sometimes and learn to get along, even if it's just for a small moment. And if it's revenge you want, just remember a rotten flower will wither away on its own. That said though, have you ever eaten grilled eel before? Well, probably not, I bet. But honestly, this tastes really good. Grilled eel is really good. It is said the kind of food people eat tells a lot about them. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but I do cook only what you may call high class and refined food around the mansion, especially for Amelia, so maybe it's true. Though I have eaten other kinds of foods the people around here have made up, and I was blown away a few times. Most of the time you want to stick to what you're comfortable with, but there's nothing wrong with having a cautious but open mind. <laughs> Although, while it's important to try new things, but there's nothing wrong with sticking to what you're comfortable with. Oh my, I think the fireworks are starting. Hmm, we should have headed to the main plaza sooner to get the best view. <laughs> I did say we should enjoy this event to the fullest after all. But still, what shall we do? Oh, I have an idea. You know, in Gensokyo, anyone can learn the ability to fly. Myself included. I don't think that's how it works. What do you say I lift you high in the sky so we can enjoy the view a little better? 
Just as long as we aren't in range of the artillery fireworks. Haha, <laughs> don't worry though. I'm a little stronger than I look, you know? Alright, here we go. Are you all ready for the fireworks? Danmaku is all about power, and I'll prove it to all of you. Spell card sign, Stardust Reverie. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Now open them. Ta-da! How'd she change that fast? What do you think? I know it's not exactly in line with Christmas. Mm. But I really wanted you to see me in a kimono. <laughs> I don't often wear outfits like these, you see. At any rate, what did you think of the fireworks? Considering they're still back there burning my retinas, uh, they're pretty good. Personally, I thought they were absolutely stunning. You know, we use Danmaku as a show of beauty and power, but... <laughs> Danmaku also makes for really good fireworks, wouldn't you agree? Except when you're trying to dodge them, it's not that much fun. As a matter of fact, some people in Gensokyo even participate in ranking Danmaku on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> I even participated in those a few times. Participants would show off their best Danmaku abilities, and I, along with the likes of Reimu and Marisa, would rate them. I suppose it's fair to say most of the participants' Danmaku were good. But there was one participant who I could not give a good score to no matter what. Not at first, at least. It was a rat yokai named Nazrin. I never fought against her unlike Rimu or Marisa, but I'm not a fan of rats. When I first saw her Danmaku, I gave her a score of 5. Speaking of that, have you seen her around by any chance? I can't help but feel she's been around the whole time. Hmm... I don't know. I, th I think the rat has been around. I've seen it a couple times. Either way. What does Christmas mean to you? I can't say I'm very religious, but I'd say it feels very important. <laughs> it seems like a place where everyone can just come together and have fun, and I think that's very good. I can definitely understand why it's celebrated so much in the outside world. What about you? Do you feel the same way? Or perhaps there's more to it for you? <laughs> Whatever reason is perfectly fine and valid, because we all just want the same thing deep down. We should host events like this more often. That said, I think with these fireworks, that's all for the festival tonight. I had a really good time tonight. But don't think this is over. Far from it. As a matter of fact, we're going to the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Come on now. Oh my, I wonder why it's so dark down here. <laughs> Careful, watch your step. <laughs> ah, this should turn the lights back on. Oh, I'm getting jumped. Oh no. Surprise! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, well, we finally meet again. If it isn't the human, have you finally come to your senses and decided to work under me? Events like these are fun, but if I don't have more humans to fear me, I'll die from boredom. <laughs> no need to pressure him, my lady. We meet again, human. I have to tell you, it was quite something to read all those Christmas stories and books to get this surprise just right. Yeah, Pacholi reads us a lot of true Christmas stories. I can't believe they made an entire tradition based on the design of my wings. The outside world is cooler than I thought. Check it out. There's a few gifts from the outside world we've been waiting to show you in Sakia. Isn't that Mei Ling, not Mistia? <laughs> that is. Oh my, what a lovely drawing. She's got a pipe bomb in that box, doesn't she? 
<laughs> I wonder what's inside the present. <clears throat> oh, there, now it's us mailing. Well, Sakia, you look especially cute in this one. I wonder where I can get a coat like that. Sakia, when are you going to give me a present? And me, don't forget about me too. This guest art is done by Spooky. Very cool. There's one more piece of artwork to show off. <laughs> a Christmas themed maid outfit? It actually looks so good on you. <laughs> oh my, why didn't I think of a dress design like this before? I really, really like this one. I want an outfit like that. This artwork was done by Emerald Kitty on Twitter. What a really nice design. Petrelli, Sakia, I demand you make all of us Christmas themed outfits for the party. It's kind of late for that, it's already time for the party. It's probably a little too late for that. Alright, the human doesn't know about it. I don't know much about Christmas, but what I do know is that I won't be one-upped by a bunch of puny humans in the village. I'm hosting the most magnificent Christmas after party in my name. Everyone across Gensokyo will know that only I hold the best events. Everyone is invited, so be sure to have lots and lots of fun. It is not optional. The fun is mandatory, and you will enjoy it. It actually starts in about five minutes, so go get ready. I'll be in the corner if anyone needs me. I have so many dance moves to show off. I wonder if there's any humans willing to spar with me. Mei Ling, I feel like you'll kill them. <laughs> <laughs> then, as the mistress commands, let's all do our best to have fun. That was one exciting party. I suppose you need a place to stay now. Here is good. Go on, you first. My room will do just fine. They got the fumos. <laughs> you must be so tired. You're free to sleep in here for as long as you want to. I myself have a bit of cleaning up to do, so it'll be a while. Hmm, what's that? Oh my. Is that what I think it is? You know, I did a bit of research on Christmas myself. I think I understand what that symbolizes. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely still in a giving mood. I suppose I can take the night off. Come closer. Close your eyes. Kiss me. I love you. I love you. And that's it. That's the end. You give uh, you give Sagi the smooches, and, and that's your Christmas present. Anyway, let's go ahead and bring up the credits here. Yeah, Ponderful did the voices for this. And the artist was CRRO1. But anyway, that's going to be the end of Christmas Celebration with Sake Izioi. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I am working on the next chapter of Higurashi. I'm not sure when it'll be out, but uh, eventually. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get around to it, okay? But uh, that's all I've got for you. So I will see you all in the next chapter. Goodbye. <laughs>